in this channel is Miracle Street because uh, so many miracles happen when Jesus comes and so many Muslims get saved. So many Muslims get saved through miracles. I was one of them. I was a Muslim and one night the Lord Jesus just came to me like it says in the Bible. God says, in the last days, I'll pour out my spirit on, on all flesh, my spirit on all flesh, and that's what he did for me. This video, it's my first video on Miracle Street, the channel. It's about, it's called, of tacos and Lele to Qadr. <laughs> Lele to Qadr is a belief in Islam. It's called the Night of Power, or the night of value or the night of destiny or the night of measures it's also called the night of decrees it's believed to be like often it's considered the uh, by the Sunnis to be the 27th day of Ramadan and with the Shiites they consider it like the 23rd of Ramadan and on that day, supposedly, the belief is that the Qur'an started coming down to Muhammad. Actually, the belief also, it's a little bit unclear, but that the whole Qur'an came to Muhammad on the, the day Laylat al-Qadr. And uh, even though there's also the belief that the Qur'an came to Muhammad over a 23-year period, you know, that it started when he was in the cave of Yura at 610 A.D. and uh, continued till the end of his life and uh, but Lady to Qadr is supposed to be the night of wishes too uh, you know the, they believe that Allah's mercy and abundance comes on Lady to Qadr where they believe that sins are forgiven and uh, also the big thing that I used to know when I was young, living in the Middle East, was that it's a night of wishes. You ask for whatever you want, and you're going to get it. And, uh, you know, the belief, there's lots of stories that came around that, and uh, I remember one, uh, one woman, she explained to me that, on Lelit al-Qadr, that you got to look outside the window, like around 2 o'clock in the morning, no matter where you are, and if you look outside and everything is turned upside down, and it's crazy, uh, just total insanity when you look outside the window, and if you look outside and don't go crazy, you can ask for anything you want, and you'll immediately get it. That's what I was told. I don't know how many people believe that, but I know that there were similar stories about that, and, uh, and anyway, I believed it. I was a young boy, and uh, I had been raised in, uh, in the West. And I had real appreciation for tacos. But I was living in the Middle East at the time, and I was a young boy. And I just heard that you can have these wishes, anything you want. And all I could think about was, I wanted to ask to, uh, I wanted to get up, first of all, because I think it was supposed to happen like around 2 o'clock in the morning or something. So I wanted to stay up, actually, all night, until that time when everything happened. Uh, the world turned upside down, and I was looking outside the window. And, uh, and then I was going to ask for a hundred tacos. That's what I wanted, was a hundred tacos. And uh, the funny thing is that I used to always think about, well, how am I going to keep a hundred tacos, you know, because I can't eat all of them at once. But I didn't, because I didn't have any tacos there in the Middle East at that time. They didn't have, you know, any of the famous taco uh, the restaurants over there. And so... Uh, I would just would wonder now, how am I going to preserve a hundred tacos? And I kept thinking about it, and uh, but I always wanted to stay up on Lady to Qadr and ask for tacos. And uh, you know, within Islam, there is this this thing about wishing and asking for wishes from Allah, and that there's these special magical times where you could ask for anything you want, kind of like the rubbing the lamp and asking for a genie. You know, when you get the, when you find the lamp, you ask for genie, like a story out of the Arabian Nights, and it's uh, very similar to a story from the Arabian Nights, 
There's also another story. Uh, it's about prayer on Friday. It's in the Hadith 12, 27, 53. And uh, it's narrated by Abu Harira. It says, All of the Apostle, peace be upon him, said that there is an opportune time on Friday that if a Muslim gets it while praying and asks something from Allah, that Allah will definitely meet his desire. And he, the Prophet, pointed out with his hands the shortness of that time. So he did like a little movement with his hands, kind of showing how short that time was. But that there was this one time, if you just happen to be praying at that time, you can ask Allah for whatever you want, you'll get it. You don't know when that time it is, you don't know which prayer or when, but it happens on Friday. <laughs> so, uh, it's similar to the wishes of Laylatul Qadr. And you know, that it says that you're going to get what you want. You get, get this wish. If you, could, you know, I wanted to get tacos. Other people probably want money. Some people maybe want marriage. Maybe some people want fame. Some people want success or something for their kids or whatever. But you know what? I was a good Muslim and I waited for Lili to come and waited for all those things to happen. But it wasn't until Jesus came on Easter of 1978 and I was watching television and then God poured out the Holy Spirit on me and you know what I had been wanting something when I was a Muslim I used to always ask Allah I said Allah please do something in my life show me that you care about me show me that you're there you know I'm, I'm so desperately empty and miserable please do something in my life Nothing ever happened. I must have missed those opportune times that Muhammad talked about or Laylatul Qadr or whatever. But when Jesus came, Jesus satisfied that hunger inside of me. He satisfied that spiritual hunger. And he did that miracle in me. And he could do it in you right now. Jesus said to the woman at the well in John chapter 4, the Gospel of John, he said, I'll give you water. If you drink of it, you'll never thirst again. He did it for me. He'll do it for you. Just open your heart to Him. Just say, Lord Jesus, I'm so empty. I'm so miserable. You know, we don't need a night of wishes. We don't need a genie. We don't need a genie coming out of a bottle that can grant us three wishes, you know, at a, the perfect time, you know. We, re, we need God. We need God. We need a relationship with God. And that relationship, even though I was a Muslim, I didn't find that relationship in Islam. I found it in Jesus Christ when he came to me. And the Bible says that he died for us. And he gave his life for us to forgive us of our sins. And by forgiving our sins and cleansing us of our sins, he enables us to come before God. And you can do that right now. You can do that right now. If you have that emptiness, if you're like an empty cup like I was, you were empty inside like I was. You can ask God right now. You can say, God, please come into my heart. God, please fill this emptiness inside of me. God, I've tried everything, philosophy, politics, religion, tried everything, and I'm as empty as ever. But Lord Jesus, give me the Holy Spirit. Lord Jesus, pour out your spirit into my heart and fill this emptiness. Give me that living water that you spoke about to the woman in in John chapter 4. Fill the emptiness in my life. Lord Jesus, if you love me, if you're there, please come. Reveal yourself to me. Lord Jesus, please come. Reveal yourself to me. Forgive me for my sins. I know I'm a sinner. I know I've committed so many sins. Lord Jesus, please forgive me for my sins. Come into my heart. Give me a new life. He loves you. He's going to do it. Thank you. Thank you for listening. God bless you.